Hi guys and welcome to another LSPDFR. This time we're going to be looking at Vocal Dispatch. Now Vocal Dispatch, if you don't know what it is, is a plugin for the LSPDFR uh, main plugin, which allows you to be a police officer in GTA 5. But what makes it unusual is you can use your voice, one key, and vocal commands to call in backup. Ambulances, medical care, fire trucks, transport. You can say if you're code 4, call in SWAT, air units, and so on. Now, what I always found, especially if you use a controller in particular, is that using a controller, you're, even if you use a remapping software, you find you quickly run out of buttons and sooner or later you're going to be having to put the controller in one hand with your thumb trying to steer and then you're frantically tapping the keyboard with the other at high speed in a pursuit. Now that's imagine you want to call in, uh, I don't know, call through backup for example. You need a, another driver to come and assist you or you need an air unit. Now obviously you would press B or the B mapped key then the up and down buttons, then you have to push the enter button and so on. But with vocal dispatch, you simply press one key, um, which would be the equivalent of pushing your finger on a walkie talkie button, um, and then say exactly the command you want, and dispatch hopefully will dispatch. Now, I personally, to begin with, have the vocal dispatch read me. PDF file open on another screen and I zoom it out the PDF so I can get the main calls and the main calls are call 3 backup so that's request an immediate backup that's really useful especially if you're in a pursuit because you aren't going to faff around and keep calling you know other drivers other officers and units you can just say it and it will do it so you just need one key so you've got one key you can map to your mouse for example I've used the B button remapped with remapping software so I push that requesting immediate backup attention all units officer needs immediate assistance in Grande Sonora Desert there we go this is David Charles 12 copy so that's all there is to it. Um, the next one would be, let's say, shots fired. Right? If you say shots fired, nothing. So you push your mapped button, the Alt GR. Shots fired. Attention, all units. A firearm attack on an officer. And which again is really useful if you're in a melee. If you're shooting, you know. Here come the back on. So. Which is interesting in this six hacking, but can you imagine you're in a shootout? You're 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 sh you know you just tap one key, so you shot someone, and you get this backup arrive, which is really great. Look at that, and here they are. Now, if I didn't have vocal dispatch, what I'd have to do is I'd go. Uh, oh, I'd have to push this, then I'd have to push. Uh, oh, hang on, over the enter key. And then I'd have to, or I'd have to push, go down and push swap. Do you know what I mean? So that to me is faffing. Whereas you can just push one key, job done. That's it. The next thing is a tow truck. So, dispatch me a tow truck. And if it doesn't hear you, it says didn't copy, please say again. It's going to be a lot of stuff. Here. Dispatch me a tow truck. Okay. Are you sure you want a tow truck for a police? Now you still got to push the yes, no for a... Um, which I'll say no. But... Yeah. Uh, there's also fire truck uh, status. So when you, f you want to end the call, you would say, obviously, 10-8. Show me 10-8, so... Show me 10-8. 10 10 copy. 1, Sam, 1. So that's really handy. So they can all get going now. So he's taking my vehicle. There's an, one of the ones that I always struggle with, especially in a pursuit, is the air unit. Because when you're, in, when you're racing along the, the highway, for me, 
as a control pad user what i tend to do and with a gamepad is i've got my push this key oh, so i'm driving bear in mind so i'm steering left and right left and right so i'll give me a prime example which i can show here right now so i'll drive this a second oh hang on let me get in this one a second <laughs> wrong one right so this is a good example jump in oh let me get out of the way of them all a second that's uh let them all get out of the way so you're driving along Okay, and then you sort of you're going to the racing around corners and you've got to go uh and then you've got to go uh 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 and then you've got to push the enter button on the kit. Now although I've got it mapped to the gamepad, that is really faffy. Really faffy to have to do that. So and uh, I've snowed still, so that's why that happened. Right. So now that's try it. So you're driving along. Requesting air unit. Eagle six is in support. Job done. Didn't even have to take my fingers off the off the pad. Look at that. Job done. And here comes the air unit. So you see how much useful that is. I could request look anything I want. Um, obviously pursuit backup is is the other issue. So let's go along and you say. Requesting pursuit backup. Didn't understand me. Requesting pursuit backup. Attention all units. Assistance needed for a uh, possible 148 for one Sam one in Grande Sonora Desert. There we go. Ocean one in route. So that to me is much easier than doing, say, this, which would be. units we've got a code 99 in Grande Sonora so you've got three things you've got to do instead of you know, just requesting pursuit back up we've got a 1099 that's how easy it is so and also as an immersion you're on the radio rather than using menus on a computer keypad so again that's really useful and accept a call out. Now, usually you press Y. So to say yes, I'm going to be using. Uh, so imagine you you get a call out. So you push X. Attention, all units. Citizens report a public nuisance in Grande Sonora Desert. Units respond code three. Proceed with caution. Show me en route. 10 copy that. There we go. So now I've accepted it. You know, and I can uh, go to the call. If you push yes, it makes no difference now. There we are. So again, it's, it, to me, I just think vocal dispatch is really useful. I'm not saying it replaces a keyboard, because if once you get out of the vehicle, to me, so if I'm out, if I sort of I pull up at somewhere, and you're doing something and you think unless it's a panic so if you're having a shootout or something and you've got to get your gun and all this then to go over to the alp tap that and you know, to me like in this instance you might want to you know use the uh b key and just to, and they're done that's how quick it is but when you're driving with it it's the game pad issue so if you've got a game pad and you drive with a gamepad and use a keyboard oh for pedestrian and use a gamepad for driving then the vocal dispatch is going to be a really useful thing to add so what i'll do now is i'll show you how to install it and we'll take it from there so you open it up and uh, the read me is there but it's quite straightforward you put this one, the auto, 
T X three, you drop that into your main Grand Theft Auto folder, which is this one. So if you look, you can see it on mine there. There we are, it's Auto three. So there it is. So that is in your main GTA folder. Then the rest of it is self-explanatory. In, G in Windows 10, you can basically copy that and then simply paste it straight in there and it will just instantly install into the crack folders. But you will need, if you look, you will need your, you will need a plugins folder created when you that would be happen when you install lspdfr so this isn't really about installing lspdfr okay this is for people that already have lspdr installed it installed and they have their all the uh dll files they've got there if you look down my list there you can kind of you've got your rage hook it's all in you know script hook everything it's all installed so you've got your lspdfr is up and running you're using it you're playing it Okay, but you want to use Vocal Dispatch. Now, this is all you have to do. But, again, and then if you look at the PDF file, there's the PDF that I use. So you can see I've zoomed it out so I can, not too much, so it's too small. But that is perfect for me. So I can have that right there on another screen. And I can that sort of size, so it's still readable for me anyway on this screen. Probably not so much for you, but I'll zoom in for you so you can read it. But there. So there we go. You've got call out, shots fired, call for status, transport. And you've seen some of the things I've already just shown you. Uh, uh, the one the, the ones that you would find probably the most useful if you're using a gamepad would be the air unit. So just write that down separately and put a sticky tape on top of your monitor so you can quickly read it. Um, code to backup if you need assistance. Um, pursuit backup and accept call out. SWAT if you're dealing with, say, a big terrorist attack or something, you know, someone that's out of control. If you're down in the gang area of Los Santos down at uh, Grove Street or something, and, it, you know, when you're down there, sometimes you might stop somebody and they drop their bottle and then they pull out a firearm before you know it half the streets out there shooting and it's insane and for that for you to be able to just crouch behind beside a vehicle tap one key and say you know request SWAT requesting SWAT request SWAT I need SWAT send SWAT roll me SWAT need SRT and they turn up so that to me is quicker but if the, the, the devs I mean shout out to the devs of this because I was sceptical when I first got it like I said, I couldn't get it to work. But again, the key, as always, is to ensure you have the... So what we'll do is I'll... Again, this is the sound you should hear if it's working. You push the button on your keypad, on your keyboard, to the right of your space bar on this particular... Uh, that is the sound you should hear. And then once you've pressed that button, you can give the command when the person you are didn't copy, please say again. So you would then push it again. And then you would say what you've got to say. But it says don't copy. But it gives you enough time. For, it's listening long enough not to be interfering and accidentally you ordering back up and things in conversation. But the, the 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 space given is long enough for you to um, make the command that you require, and then the moment they respond, then you're clear of it. You can carry on talking and so on. Right. So all we've got to do now is show. The, oh. <laughs> so this is the issue that I faced. So. What I'll do is we put, so you, first of all, you open up your Cortana, okay? So you obviously tap your little circle, and they, uh, in my case, I've got it compressed, but you would have a space to search there. So you just put uh, language. 
So you've got region and language settings. So you would click that. And here we go. So in this instance, you've got country or region. Windows and apps might use your country to give you local content. Well, you, you're not your kingdom in this instance. Languages, however, Windows display language. Windows features like settings, file explorer, and so on. I've got English, United States. Okay. Now, if you've got UK or any other language, click on add language. So find your language. And then next, install the language. Okay, so you've got that. Okay, then you click on your the United States language options. Over here, it says settings. So you click settings. And here is where you would make sure that this is right. So choose the language you speak with your device, English, United Kingdom. Okay, text to speech. I've chosen my control zero. Preview of voice. So you've got to make sure. Okay. That. Here you can click United States. All right. Although in my case it appears to be working with United Kingdom, but the United States preview voice. You have selected Microsoft Sierra as the default voice. Okay, so in my case, I've chosen that. Get started. Set up your mic for speech recognition. Make sure everything's working here. Okay. Then boot up the game. Okay. Make sure you load. Make sure you've loaded all the plugins. So you're going to make sure that the plugin is actually loaded. So. In this instance, you might want to go to click F4. Okay. Reload all plugins. So select that. Press enter. Let it load. So I'm seeing a lot of loading here. <laughs> there we go. Vocal dispatch loaded with 42 phrases. You see? So we that should be there. So right. you need to We're find that in the list. You know it's loaded then. So if it's now not working, you know it's simply to do with your language and speech recognition settings, which you can easily fix in just with the, using a the drop down. So if we now try again, there we are, it's working. So even though I changed United Kingdom back to the US, with that, it's still working. So it's pretty good. So we'll just test it's working. So show me ten eight. Roger that. There we go. Thank you very much, dispatch. So hopefully this will go some way in uh, helping you get uh, local dispatch working. Again, I can't guarantee that you know you'll be able to do that because you might have other problems I'm not aware of and so on. But if you can get it working. So it just adds more immersion to the game. It's a lot more fun. Uh, it's very useful. And if you use a gamepad, I would say it's essential. Uh, there are people out there using it. There are other YouTubers that you can watch and you can hear them using it. But it's all very sketchy. It's all a bit kind of um, sort of. It's a bit Harry Potter and it getting it going, you know, because you think, well, why isn't it working? I've installed it. It says it's installed. Why doesn't it work? That's the moment where it's quite hard to find the solutions. So hopefully, you know, you can uh, troubleshoot it with what I've said. And uh, if you've got any problems, just rewind back through the video, go through it a second time, copy what I've done. So let me know what you get on in the comments. See you later. Bye.